Today is another day to learn new and interesting things about our subject. I am your teacher in drafting technology and I'm very excited to join you in your journey towards learning. For today's video, I will going to show you how to make an arc and also how to use the tan 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 in circus is the figure or the object that we will going to make in order to utilize the use of arcs and other option of circle here in AutoCAD 2021. So first, let's create the box. So using the PL, enter. We're going to draw a box. Make sure that it is an ortho. So let's put 12, 12, 12, and then 12. And then array this by rectangular array with three columns, two rows, and distance of 14, and then 14, and then close array. And then make sure, let's move it in here so that it's aligned to our drawing. And then explode this box. For the first box, you can actually see a radius of 6 bigger triangle so let's check this radius this one and a half 2p of this one the 5.5 so first let's create a circle with radius center using the radius center so from here make sure that you are using the snow a show snapping and then six enter make sure that you use this one Show snapping reference lines. It's activated. And then let's just create a, a vertical line from the midpoint. Passing through the center. And then we're going to use the two point. Okay, two point. So from here, point one. The two point in the diameter of 11. Then again, enter 2P. From here up to here, 10. 2p again from here up to here of 9 and then enter 2p again from here up to here of 8 and then again 2p again from here up to here of 7 and then again enter 2p from here 7 6 enter then enter again from here uh-huh again see enter 2p enter from here until here of 5 again enter 2p and then use this one 4 and then last we have 3 2p again 2p and here of 3 and then last 2 we have from here up to here uh-huh so circle 2p until from here 2 and then last 2p from here go in here of 1 okay and then we're done doing the circles and then after that we'll go into trim so tr enter so from the line up to this here this we're gonna trim uh-huh not not included this one so let's just hold the shift okay let's go on undo so again from here up to here just like this one it's actually done doing the first box we're using the two point and then the half of the two point is trim for our box number two if you will go into observe it's actually the reverse version of the first box so we're just gonna copy our um, created first box this one so we're just um, select this all of it and then copy outside this will be our reference then copy outside of the box and then using the rotate so select all the lines and then uh, i mean all the arcs and circle then ro enter so make sure that we have a good sense of so let's move it in here i think upper than here we can remove, um, rotate it very well so let's rotate it select ro enter 
then specify the base point. So for example, this will be my base point, this one, this x1, and then we're just gonna rotate it so from here, rotate it for about this one. Okay, so let's sure that ortho mode is on so that we can see it in 180 degrees. Okay, 180 degrees. Rotate it in 180 degrees, then click, and then space bar. Okay, and then select all of it, and then let's just gonna move from here. So I think this one. And then let's gonna move in here, midpoint. Okay, so make sure that it's accurately moved. Just like this, and we're done doing the second box. So for the box three, if you will going to observe this box, it's actually the combination of this first box and the second box. So in order to process it um in a lesser time, so we can just copy it the box one and the box two here in box three. So first, let's just create a vertical line the midpoint of it so let's create vertical line using the line so from here midpoint to midpoint uh -huh. so from here midpoint and then we're just going to create a circle in the center of it by radius of six and then after that just select all these arcs that we have created in here and then we're just gonna copy it so co enter this will be our reference and also this will be our second reference click and then enter and then also here select all these arcs and then co enter this will be our reference go in here reference okay click and then enter so we're done doing the third box so for the box 4, as you can see, it's the radius of all of it. The arc is 6, radius of 6. It's actually the circle. Okay, just going to do a circle. Okay, let's create our box 4 to our drawing area here. So first, let's just create a perpendicular line from this midpoint vertically going here and horizontally line from here. And then we're just gonna use the center radius. Okay, so from here, radius of here, then go in here by 6. And then next, radius again from here, go in here of 6. Then if we're gonna do the right one, I mean the left one, just gonna do here in right. Then we're gonna I, ask, um, I mean circle, enter, radius, center, then 6 again. Then from this reference, just gonna create another circle with 6 radius. And then from here, the reference going here of 6. Enter. And then we're just going to trim all the excess arcs by TR, enter, T for cutting edges and then click the cutting edges left click and then right click to click all the excess arcs that we are not needed to our drawing and then escape and we're done doing the fourth box so for the fifth box if you were going to study and observe our given figure you can see there a color green so actually, we are going to use this as reference, all these green arcs, so you can take note of this. And then if you are going to see this line, it's actually 60 degrees line. And the arc is radius of 6. So now let's go to our drawing area here. So first, let's just create a horizontal line from this midpoint going here, this midpoint. And then we're just going to create a center radius from here up to here of 6 okay and then we're just going to create a line from the center of the circle using this Pac-Man of 60 okay and then we're just gonna have this one then let's just get trim all the excess 60 lines and then using this line we're just going to mirror it from here up to here then no Select all 60 degrees and then we're just going to mirror it from 
here, down here. Click and then no. And then using the arc or arc option, so if you are going to have this one, we're going to use the three point arc. Okay, three point arc. So from here, three point arc first reference is here, going to the middle, and going down here. Okay, and then again, three point arc from here, going down here, up to here. Okay, and then and again, three point arc from here, here, going here. Also again, three point arc from here, here, going up, and here. Uh -huh. Just going up in here. And then we're just going to select all the arcs that we have made. We're just simply mirror it, MI, from the center. So make sure, oh, it's just not centered. So make sure that it's centered, okay? So from here, center is here go in here okay and then next make sure that it's centered from here here and then we're just going down here okay and then select all these arcs select all these arcs and then we're just going to mirror it from this center going down here click and then no and make sure that we do the accurate so let's go to annotate and get the radius of this so it's actually six so we got it right okay so we have the accuracy of this figure and we're done doing the fifth box again we use the three point in arc okay three point in arc using the 60 degrees lines our as our reference so for the six box, if we will go in to observe our figure, this one is actually by radius of six, and this given circle has no measurement at all. That's why we will going to use the tan tan tan. Okay, let's go. Um, let's do this in our drawing area beside it in here. So first, let's create the center radius. This will be our first center. And the radius by 6. And then again, center radius from here by 6. Again here, center radius from here by 6. Center radius by here by 6. Okay. And then we're just going to trim. So this will be our cutting edges. And then left, right click. Like all the excess arcs and then we're done doing the bigger arcs okay and then after that we will go in to use this one tan 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 oh, from here or oh, see enter then tan 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 i think it's tan 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 from here this one so from here tangent tangent and then tangent okay again tangent 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 and then again tangent 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 and then last we have your tangent 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 so let's go into here tangent and tangent okay and then we're just going to offset it by one going inside all of this cute circle that we have Okay, again, we're just going to use for the six box, we're just going to use the tan 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 using here in circle option. So it's actually tan tan tan. And then we're just going to offset it by one going inside. And we're done doing the six box. With that, thank you so much, my dear students. I hope that you enjoyed today's session. I hope that you have learned something new today. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Bye. See you on my next video.